Sarah Musnicki, Nightmarish Conjurings. All righty. Hi, guys. Or Hi. as I want to say, good morning. Good morning. Um, so your characters are, are so interesting in the sense that we sort of get like a surface level to them. And then as your segment continues on, there, there are so many different interesting subtle layers to your characters. Um, when you received the script, what were your initial thoughts on your characters while you were reading it? Oh gosh. Well, I, you know, the initial, the initial is like, this is a, this is a devoted couple to each other and their family and they have, they have some trauma. They lost a son in the war and they very generously have brought in another uh, vet who is homeless and they have a struggling teen daughter and they're, they're helping this other man who they, she, my character hit by a car. Like, gosh, these are really kind-hearted, generous people. Uh, and and then I had some questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, from there, yeah, their, their motives are, you know, they don't they they don't quite seem to be who they are, or maybe they are. So we we, we chatted about that a lot on set. Of what what <clears throat> what was real? What is a performance? Um, but one thing Nathan and I, you know, we all agree that they are very much a married couple. Yes. Um, what did I think when I, you know, when, when you re read it, it was just like, wow, this, this guy is, uh, really going for something that I've never quite seen before. Um, and uh, it's really ambitious and and exciting and out there and uh, it wouldn't it be something if he could pull this off yeah um and to be a part of that um and what what was it like working with joaquin phoenix because he watching his scene where you guys all interact with each other i would have i would have broken i would have been a crumpled mess on the floor <laughs> you oh you would have been a crumpled mess because you, Just, because he's I such a character. what it would have broken character like immediately <laughs> yes because you you love joaquin so much no he's just so intense and then you guys oh. interacting oh on, on, well yeah. <clears throat> i mean he is very committed and and but uh he's he's also uh, just a, a sweetheart um, so easy to talk to and down to earth and just, you know, not, not a movie star in that sense, not, you know, it's, it's all about the work. So it, he just, it just felt like, wow, you know, we're just working with this great actor and he's, he just wants to make the scene work. We, we broke up a lot laughing. Yes. We also laughed a yeah, lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Because it's such a, a, a strange situation <laughs> we're so all in. Bizarre. Yes, and uh, uh, so yeah, it was. Um, no, it was. He's he's you know a genuine artist and a and a really good guy. All right, yeah. And then to piggyback off of that, what was it like collaborating with Ari Aster? Oh gosh, Ari is um. He he is he has so much detail on the page and on the day, and he is also very um, democratic about that. He he we need him and he needs us, <laughs> and uh, he um, he's very flexible. He's very kind. He's very funny. He's very dark humored, not dark soul. He's actually quite like. Mm. A bright, happy guy. <laughs> well, or so you see. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, he. Um, I don't know. You know, it's. Look, clearly, his his other two films have proved he's he's a, a an incredible force of a talent, and Nathan and I we we've talked about like going into this what we saw before we stepped foot on the set. Okay, this script also measures up to those other worlds. And um, so we knew we were in good hands. Yeah. And if Joaquin signed on, 
it's got to be good, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, if Nathan signed on, it's got to be good. <laughs> Patty Lapone said yes, it's got to be good. So, but yet there was this thrill. There was this thrill and this unknown of, I hope we pull this off. Yeah. And, and so nothing was taken for granted. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, we weren't, you know, gliding through there on any means. We were all working really hard to find the right balance between a horror and when humor was allowed to be in and, and finding that tone um, mm -hmm. and, and keeping it just grounded in truth. Right. As nightmarish that, and fantastical as it is. Like, right. just truth. Yeah, yeah, maintaining the right tone. That was the big, the big thing. And then he, Ari used to slap me before every take. I don't know why, but it just made him feel better, and I just, I got used to it. <laughs> I, I, That's just a little dark humor, you know. <laughs> where, what's the name of your outlet? Nightmarish Conjurings. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that was a nightmarish conjuring. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, so I think that is our time. Thank you so much for uh, thank your time. You. Thank and you. I, I hope can... you get out of nightmarish conjurings and and find a happy ending. That that's all I'm gonna say. What if the nightmarish conjuring is my happy ending? Oh, oh well, that's very ah. Okay then. Very Ari Aster. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much. Sure. Take